hi uh, hi <laughs> welcome back uh, so again this is uh, fdm training class class number 3 so previously we already discussed ab- about the introduction and how the data will flow from source to the destination and uh, in the in the excel sheet with a clear picture now we will going to start creating a, a fdm application in this so i have opened a fdm application link this is a like http colon colon slash slash local host ip and fdm when you when you open this one the window will be open uh, which is showing on the screen now if you want to create a fdm application i am going to uh, like a drop down on the application uh, link and here you can able to see the new application new application so in this i am using a username is a admin and the password is the password login so now this is going to log in to the fdm application and uh, from there you are going to see the another screen from there we we have to enter our new fdm application name okay uh, the still uh, screen is uh, loading we'll wait for some more time to load the screen till the screen is loading we'll wait for uh, until the screen load so now we can able to see uh, so one window has, has appeared and uh, here the still is loading in this window you can able to see the uh, what the application has to be entered then name of the application description and path so all these uh, details will be getting in this window yes now we got the seeing the screen the window is appeared uh, now what we have to do means we have to enter our fdm application name here i am entering a fdm application name as a uh, ind india tst ind tst because i want to send the data to indian entity uh, that is uh, written as a ind tst india test descriptions uh, india fdm path what is this path path means uh, one copy of application will be storing in a in a particular of path so i'll show you uh, in detail clearly let me go and let i'll show you desktop let me go to the desktop desktop and uh, in this i'm going to create one folder name is uh, mm, i'm c- creating with the same application name ind tst and uh, now what i am going to do is i am taking this path so now i am taking this completely path instead uh, it is not getting let me open this folder this is a path and 
copying this part copying this part and uh, this is application path right I am pasting here now one copy of application name that will be saving in this path also why, why, why what is the purpose of this we will be going to discuss in further classes and it will be asking like application group means another copy of application has to be stored in the shared services why this fdm application has to be uh, uh, has to be one copy of application has to be stored in the shared services means here the security and assigning role security and everything is to be done in the shared services same as hfm application because if, if you want to do any assigning roles security part these will be done in the shared services in this in this fdm application we don't have any feasibility to create all these things that's why one copy of application has to be stored in the shared services i'm going to uh, like a, a default application group is there so un under that folder one indest ind tst application b will be storing in the shared services also let's come into the database for the for this fdm data also be storing in the backend one database in this in this server i, I have installed sql a database so whether uh, we have to check what are the database uh, is supporting for uh, fdm application whether it is sql and oracle both are will be supporting but here 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 i was installed only the sql server that's why i was selected as a database as a sql server and what is the database server here so what is the database server the database server is a is a where this exactly installed of this mission so here the server name of this uh, this one this one fdm is installed the same mission that's why i am taking the same server name what is the database server what is the database server name and the, so so it is asking the database server name means in this in this sql server so one of the database will be creating that what is the exact database name here i am giving the same as application name for the better identity so here what the thing is here what the thing is whenever you are creating the application one copy will be storing in the local folder that is in general that will be one copy will be storing in the local folder and another copy will be storing in the shared services and another copy of application will be storing in the database so these three will be going to happen it, it, it was use, use a windows integrated security i am here i am using the same user id password of this sql server so i am selecting this and uh, after that clicking ok so so it is process so when you see the application created you are seeing a screen like application created successfully so now fdm application is created now i am going to click as a okay okay now what is application name application name is ind tst so let us i am going to refresh this page once again just let me try So, th so th this is a FDM application uh, page and uh, now we are going to the connect uh, to our application application name is I IND I TST so th th this is application IND TST username is admin and uh, password is password connect to the application and here is uh, here so application is connected you are seeing a one error on the screen the error warning is application setting 
system code option is not set uh, like please contact i'll show you one second this please select a target system key from the application setting page so what what is this asking is what is this asking is where is the adapter because in this target was not set so it is asking the where is the target if we, if we want to set this target what we need to do we need to install the we need to install the oh, adapters then only it will be going to work so that's why it is showing as a error of this page okay so to avoid this we have to install the adapters Th then only this error will not come how to install the adapters okay if you want to install the adapters we cannot able to install in the web page we need to go to the desktop of fdm application from there we can able to go and install up that one so let me what i'm going what i'm doing is i'm going to log out from this from this page uh, let me go and log out this one and uh, after that i'll go and log in this uh, this is not Uh, okay this is the so all programs are Arkel EPM system uh, in, in this one if you come to the financial data quality management workbench workbench client so it is the uh, we can able to create the application two ways one is the web and the desktop th this is the page of desktop in this I am going to uh, connect the, our application our application is ind tst mm, admin is admin and uh, password is password let me correct our applications so it is application so i just high into the application well, now what i am going to do is here target is nothing is there i am going to uh, import the adapters file in this uh, like a import option is there I think I have created whether imported uh, let me go and file import in this import we have to go and uh, exactly correct Hyperion product financial data call to shared services this one ABM 001 added component A and uh, we go in this so it is the file FM 11x G5 D uh, dot XML uh, so we need to select this one I am going to import this. So we need to select all these, select all these scripts, and click OK. And uh, after that, uh, what we need to do means we need to register the uh, adapter also. From that one, uh, what we have to do means uh, how now we can able to see these the things are available because I have imported the HFM adapters here, and uh, and uh, after that uh, what what we have to do means we have to go to file file and uh, re register um, uh, uh, adapters uh, it will be going to the same uh, path uh, like a hyper and fd financial data quality and uh, from this one uh, shared component from this one uh, fm11 c uh, from this path adapters adapters components in this one fdm 11x uh, gsc in this one th 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 this is a file we need to register the uh, uh, adapters and uh, the adapters was registering uh, so now so now i have to register the uh, adapters after that what what to uh, what what we have to do means we have to go to the um, hessian profile from this mission profile add mission profile in this it will be asking the what is the source mission and the target mission so we, we need to give the source mission name and target so here everything was installed here i am giving the source mission name and target mission name same and uh, nothing you can able to give user id password confirm or no to use i am going to click ok now this is so now hfm adapters was installed now let us see in the web 
in the web uh, so i have given the